Oh no, it's not over. Happy holidays! Please like and subscribe! Peace! Alright, so this is my review for Knuckle Dust. It's 21 film. I don't know what you would call this. It's it's a cyberpunk film that has a good budget. But and you kind of see a lot of these, but it's like a British kind of uh, uh cyberpunk thing. So when you get when I saw that, you'd either get you know, something like something full on serious or you get something kind of comical. And the story behind this is uh, these criminals have a building that has seven floors on it. it. has different things on it. One of them is a AS ASMR. No, not ASMR, but I'll put what it is. But it is a, it's a, a well-known sexual type of category. Um, and that's all I'll get into it. But it involves leather and pain. So you, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but they have a fight club is what their main one. They have rich people who bet on these people to kill each other. Uh, so a, a guy who his wife was kidnapped and being threatened to, to be killed unless he does some, the stuff that they want in the fight, like per much fake it and then, or die to his death. Um, and they they definitely go right into that, and then they immediately go right into him killing people. So I was thinking the first half of this that it was just it was really stupid. Uh, I didn't like the not really stupid, but how they they chopped up everything, kind of felt choppy. And it's still by the end it did, even though they 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 really did a lot of uh, uh, explaining to it of the lead up and stuff. I, I, as you know, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. And they definitely did a really bad job of, uh, in my opinion, of doing that. Um, but there's a lot of comical to this and to the point where some of, a lot of it came off cringy, uh, not a lot of it, but some of it come off cringy, but a lot of it was overdone. Um, uh, so I was going back and forth to see if I liked that. Uh, the first 30 minutes or 40 minutes or so, I actually thought it was, you know, kind of fun. It was a fun movie. Um, then it got kind of really boring and just kind of sloppy to it. Um, there's definitely, a, uh, he goes through these, uh, when he escapes, he goes through these seven floors of hell of the building. And so one of them is he goes into this this floor, that floor that has the uh, adult section in it, and uh, then he gets captured and he fights some, these two guys off. And then he goes into another the hallway, and then you get this fight scene that um, I show at the beginning. And, you know, it, it's really, really, really funny. It was really funny, but actually the first part that was really funny was a guy in leather goes into... Um, the elevator but with the whole elevator scene was actually kind of drawn out but it was kind of funny um but yeah and then you just see the whole the, the whole comicalness to it and then there's again a lot of it was just drawn out kind of funny um there it has some cool stuff in here though it has um how they introduce the characters in here with their names are kind of you know Kind of punkish type of, of uh, weird kind of corny names to them. But what they do is they, they have them and then they have um, a... Well, I'll show you what it is. And they have something like that with music in the background. I had to take the music out, always for copyright music for reasons. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cool when they put the uh, the LED lights up or uh, the neon lights on it uh, as when they pop it up. I thought that was cool. Um, about that, that's about really about it. Um, I, I have a lot of issues with this movie. Um, I definitely did. I, I was debating towards the end if I if I should rate this out of 
uh, give this a three out of five or a two out of five. I was going to give it a two out of five. You know what? I'm 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 going to give this a two and a half. To come in the middle of this, um, I thought it was a very interesting type of movie. I seen better punk cyber ones. Uh, these type of uh, cyberpunk films. There was one with um, not Elijah Wood, but uh, the Harry Potter guy. Um, I did a one of, uh, and that was a really good movie. I'll have what that is up, but, uh, yeah. So please like, and subscribe. I have some more films coming up. Some are a little bit older, uh, uh, films, they're Westerns, but you know, I haven't seen them. So let, let's keep it up in mind about that. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, school everyone.